On Saturday, March the 26th, trade unionists, students, pensioners and public service users from every corner of Britain will converge on London to demonstrate against government cuts. The Tory-led government has unleashed the biggest attack on working people's jobs, services and living standards since the 1920s. Every community, every public service and the very fabric of the welfare state is under threat from a Tory-led government determined to make everyone pay for the financial crisis except the bankers and corporations who caused it. What this government's trying to do is pin the blame for the problems of the economy, uh, the fact that the country's gone bust, on the working class, on working people, on pensioners, uh, on people that are using the health service, people that are using their local community services and the council services. But what they should be doing is blaming it on the wealthy, on the bankers, uh, on the big shareholders and on capitalism itself. The attack is so big and the cuts so deep that if we allow them to go ahead they will destroy more than a million jobs and strangle the economy. And for every public sector job destroyed, at least one more would be lost in the private sector. At present they should be putting money into the economy, building up the economy first and then thinking about reducing the national debt. Putting more people on the dole is not going to work because that means you've got people that are not earning, therefore not spending, therefore no money in the economy. Working people are facing pay freezes, the tripling of student fees, the scrapping of the educational maintenance allowance, crumbling schools and bigger classes, VAT at 20%, the raising of the retirement age and cuts in pensions, drastic benefit cuts, higher fuel and heating bills, the dismantling and privatisation of the health service, decimation of children's and adult social services, library closures. And the government will wipe billions off the value of pensions and benefits by switching its measure of inflation from the retail prices index to the lower consumer prices index. Our pensions that we've built up over the years are now going to be changed by using the rating of the CPI, which is the consumer price index, rather than the retail price index, the RPI which is always something of between half percent and three quarter percent more than CPI each year. Some people might say, well, it's not a lot. But if you magnify that by 5, 10, 15, 25, 30 years, the average person who lives 30 years after retirement is going to receive a pension in excess of 27% less than what they would have done if they didn't change the way they formulated pensions. Transport services are facing drastic cuts that could destroy one in five bus routes, hitting some of the most vulnerable and least mobile people in our communities. Rail fares will be increased by 30% while the privateers cut services and essential staff to boost their profits. And lifeline ferry services are once more under threat of privatisation. But for the bankers, whose unregulated greed caused the recession, it's obscene bonus as usual. And all paid for with our money. All in it together, I mean, who does he mean by that, Cameron? That he's never had to live on a poverty line. He's, he's been born with everything he's ever wanted. I've been brought up with my mother, four kids, living on a poverty line all my life. That he's never had to go through that. He's, he's from a wealthy background and all his ministers are all millionaires. In it together? Yeah, don't think so. I think what he meant was we're in it together but not you and not you and not you. Britain's recession wasn't caused by public spending on services people need and it won't be ended by cutting them. The banks that sparked the recession have been handed £1.3 trillion of our money to keep them afloat and continued subsidy worth a staggering £30 billion a year. Yet they're still profiteering on mortgages and threats to clamp down on them have come to nothing but empty spin. And as the cuts pushed the economy into reverse, the Tory Chancellor had the cheek to blame it all on the weather. The government of millionaires is attacking the welfare state because they don't like it. 
between 1918 and 1961, Britain's national debt was double what it is today. But despite that, we created the National Health Service and built hundreds of thousands of council homes. RMT believes that everyone who works in or uses public services, including transport, has an interest in telling the government that its cuts are not only unfair, but completely unnecessary. There is an alternative based on fair taxation and investment in the services that people need. We need an end to the tax dodging industry that costs the economy £120 billion pounds a year. People who are evading tax are holding billions of pounds. In fact, it's estimated that it's greater than the debt. You know, so the money is there. We need a fair tax system in which the richest and the corporations pay most. We need to harness the banks to play a socially useful role, lending at reasonable rates. We need investment in the services that people need. We need to see a massive programme of building council homes, creating jobs and stopping a return to the madness of a hyperinflated housing market. The priorities should be getting the money back from the bankers, the priorities should be getting rid of the internal market in our public services, reversing privatisations of public services and contracting out, and making sure that you know, we have good quality public services going forward that aren't at the behest of privateers, spivs and speculators. On Saturday, March the 26th, the TUC has called a demonstration in London and RMT is organising to ensure the biggest possible turnout from RMT members and their families and friends. So on March the 26th, join us in what is likely to be one of the biggest demonstrations ever seen in Britain. Get aboard one of the hundreds of buses and trains coming to London and bring your family and friends. RMT members... Uh, families go to universities, RMT members' families use hospitals, RMT members' families use public services. That's why we need to defend those things because it's about our quality of life agenda as well. They're trying to destroy our, our welfare state and, and everything that we fought for. Whether you're a young person, an old person, you know, disabled or whatever, we still want everybody to come down on March 26th and show that we are all in this together. We're all in the fight back together. Join us down in London and pick up a banner and let's show the government how we all feel. And all you women out there, come and join them. It's not a union for men, as we keep saying, it's a union that involves women. And uh, come out and show your voice. This March is our opportunity to show that working class people uh, and trade unionists and RMT members are not prepared to accept the blame uh, for an economy that's gone bust and it's not their fault. London is the place to be on the 26th because we want to show those people in so-called in power that the people are marching and if they can march globally in Cairo and Tunisia then surely we can do it in London. This is an opportunity for the entire trade union movement representing all grades in Britain whether they be doctors, whether they be nurses, uh, manufacturing workers, transport workers like yourself to come together and say as far as we're concerned, that we're not prepared to accept that working people have got to pay the price for the damage that the bankers have done to this country. We intend to have a different kind of Britain. We believe that people should be put first, and when you ask people, they want jobs, they want housing, they want meals on wheels, they want social services, all of them are now going to be under major attack. On the 26th of March, turn up with your families, turn up with your friends, and let this coalition government know they're going down the wrong track. Thank you. For details, contact your RMT regional office and visit the union's website at rmt.org.uk.